This video is for the person that wants to quit coding. Talking to you, you wouldn't have clicked on this video if you did not want to quit. Self-taught programming is one of the hardest things that you will ever do. There's no one there to hold your hand. There's no one there to guide you. It's a purely personal pursuit that you have to do on your own. And personally going into this, I did not realize how difficult this would be. Nonetheless, throughout my entirety of my programming journey thus far, I have wanted to quit about three times. So don't feel alone that you want to quit. This is an extremely normal feeling that people get, especially when times are hard or where you haven't seen much results up to that point. And I get it. You know, like you've probably been coding for a couple of months, maybe two to three months, you've done some HTML, some CSS, and maybe a little bit of JavaScript. You wanna build a project and you can. That feeling right there, after all those hours of hard work and you still can't build something, that is extremely painful and, and, and understandable to why you wanna quit. But look, if, if you have even the slightest amount of motivation left, I promise you, if you can just keep going, you will get to a point where things will just start to make sense, they will click, and you will eventually just start seeing this exponential growth of progress. And I, I like to compare it to the gym, and I know you know we're programmers, we're not supposed to be like jacked, but I used to be in the personal training industry. What I used to tell my clients is to be patient with how their body is forming. In the gym, it takes around two months to finally see progress with your body. Now the time difference in programming is a little different, but you get the metaphor. If you just keep going, if you just keep working out, eventually you're gonna have a body of work, AKA your body, literally, that shows that you've been going to the gym. Now that on average takes two months, but sadly, no one likes to wait that long, you know? You start your New Year's resolution, you're one month in, you, you've worked out every day, and you still have a stomach to show, right? But what you don't know is that if you go two months in and you just consistently just keep showing up without seeing results, eventually you're gonna see the first two packs and then the, the four pack and then the six pack. So if you are in this position, right, where you really wanna quit and you wanna just give up in programming, understand that it's a process. If it were easy, everyone would do it and no one would get paid for programming. And if you want some personal motivation, Programming has been the best decision that I have ever made. It's something that has really pushed me past my limits and has made me highly stressed at times. But I understand that with that comes like this, this feeling of, uh, of gratitude simply because I am able to program and create things out of my fingertips. And I promise you those nights where you're not hanging out with friends or those, th those days you aren't talking to your family because you are coding, those days will make sense. Look, I, I know you're like, you're probably saying like, what does this kid have to tell me about that? I'm just speaking from personal experience, but I'm telling you, if you just keep showing up, you just keep going to your computer and you just keep doing what you're doing, you're eventually gonna hit a point where it's inevitable that you suck at the thing that you're doing. I'm gonna show you like the first website I made, so I'll just show it right now. And as you can see, it looks like garbage, just so shitty. I needed so much help just to make this and I'll show you then the thing that I'm working on right now. As you can see, these two are, are huge differences in, in quality and in usage. Like one is just a static site and one is like a full stack application. So there's that as well as looks, they both look totally different. And that came as a result of those doubts, those days of quitting, those days of pushing through that doubt and, and, and eventually just, and just keep working and keep getting to the point. So if you want to understand how I did this and and became a developer, then I'll leave my course in the description. I'm kidding. I'm kidding, okay? I'm kidding, okay? Um, in, in all seriousness, I'll, I'll leave the video somewhere on the screen just so you can watch that video. Uh, and I love you guys, okay? Thank you so much for 100 subs. I, I, I'm really grateful. And yeah, I'll see you in the next video.